Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to work on a DTF printer. Uh, if you have no idea what a DTF printer and uh, just forget about it, go, go watch other videos. So today's problem is when you print a always out of paper. You know the DTF printer is printing in rows. How can this happen? So when you press this, you're going to see the light went away and uh, the print had moved a little bit and uh, then the light is on again. If you go back to your computer, you're going to see the job is just hanging there, say printing, or it says uh, auto paper later, and if you give a long enough time. If you cancel it, you're going to see uh, both the page feed and uh, the ink light. They both flashes. So let's turn this off and turn off the main switch. Okay, let's talk about uh, how the Epson uh, feed the paper. I'm standing in front of the printer now, and uh, the sensor is on you, on your right hand side. So when you feed the paper, the paper will push this lever and uh, move it away from the PCB board. So let's make sure we feed the film correctly. Uh, this big, like a half circle wheel, is control the back plate. And uh, if you have a printer that's already converted to row feeding, and it really doesn't matter how where the position this big wheel is. So I like to make the gap a little bit narrower. So help me a little bit uh, so when I guide it, the film in there and uh, push the film to the right side. And so you can trigger the, uh, the paper sensor. Uh, by right side, I mean left side because we're in the back of the printer now. And uh, press the page feed a couple times and uh, uh, so make sure the printer catches paper. Uh, you might need to load and unload just uh, back and forth until the uh, uh, page is parallel to the output. And this is perfect. This is where you want the page to be. And uh, here's the paper sensor. It's out of the socket. Now we need to make sure the printer is okay. So cancel any remaining job from your computer. Cancel it and then turn off the whole printer, uh, including, the, including the main switch. Now turn back to the main switch with a good two minutes before you turn on the printer. When you turn on the printer, uh, do a quick and firm push like this. Do not hold on. So you need to release pretty quickly. And then with another good five, six minutes, and if you see there's no error, uh, no, no page feed error, your printer is okay. The problem is on your software. Oh, my son is playing Carolina Stars at this, uh, the next year too. Okay, um, the first thing uh, you might get wrong is your printer model. Uh, this m most likely because uh, you bought a, you bought a uh, Asian model and there are lots of Chinese modified uh, printers. So, uh, that, so you don't have, uh, 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 you don't have equivalent US model. Okay, so most likely you're going to get a L1800. Because it's an Asian model, you only see the L1800 here. So on the drop down, you probably select another wide format printer, uh, which is not going to work. You need to select R290. And uh, R290 is actually is a regular size printer. So whenever you print, you're going to get air. You're going to get air. So you're going to ignore it. Okay, I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, it's pretty funny. Uh, I think you can also uh, select a 1390, 1400. And uh, but if you select all others, you're going to get a page out, page out air. And based on my based on my experience, uh, R two ninety have a better color than than those, so I'll get a two ninety. Okay. Second thing to check uh, your port. If you get that error, your port your port is okay. And uh, anyway, just take a look, quick look. Cause yeah, it is. Then the second thing on the software you need to check is uh, this spooler. And uh, do not select start printing immediately. This default. You need to uh, change to start printing after last page is boot. And uh, page size, uh, page size check it probably was on. I like I, I like to turn it off. And uh, those two it doesn't matter. And uh, image type doesn't matter. And the feeding doesn't matter. And uh, the printer is all checked. And uh, this is the part. 
that you need to change. One, two, three, four. If you're not uh, using the L1800 uh, uh, printer model, uh, you might need to just dig around and uh, change the, the printer uh, settings and uh, until you find the one that works for you. All look good, so we can print. And uh, of course, I need a uh, color first and uh, color plus white. Go print, you're going to see air. And the page size is, uh, is different. And just say yes. Uh, let's go check if we fix the problem. Uh, no more errors. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Uh, visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.